What is up everyone? I'm Scratch. Welcome to the channel. This is another Dragon Air Silent Gods video. Season 3, the Echoes of the Deep is here, guys. Now we only have one mission in today's video, and that of course is to summon our most wanted legendary champions that were added in season 3. I have a total of 113 Heliolite dice, and I still haven't got uh, all of the ones from the seasonal shop, but we're gonna get to that in a in a second. As legendaries, you know uh, what are my most wanted, and that is the new couple, right? So we have the new Frost couple. That's what I want to get. Fainja and uh, Theoderim. Um, I do hope that I'm going to be lucky, guys. I wish you luck as well. Uh, last season, I wasn't too lucky. I haven't managed to summon any exclusives out of the banner, and I summoned quite a bit on this. But I do want to wish you guys better luck than I will have, okay? Better luck than I will have, and hopefully I will have pretty good luck. That being said, let's crack on it. 113 summons. RNG Jesus, please. Let me get the new couple, please. Let me get the new couple, and uh, in the process, let me get a rook as well and uh, some other juicy things for uh, <laughs> for the exclusives. Oh, ho, ho, the second summon is a legendary. Oh, we got Victor. He's a support uh, fire element uh, element hero, and he's actually pretty pretty good as a support, right? So we have um, marks the enemy with the hero. Uh, Marks the enemy when the hero inflicts a debuff on them, sorry. The mark class the same as the debuff. Healing received by the marked enemy reduced by 35%. The ultimate energy uh, of their healer will also be reduced. Sounds pretty interesting, you know. Then you have buff prohibition. Uh, removes the shield, which is great for dungeons. And right here, he has randomly an option to put some of these, uh, these debuffs. It's actually a pretty interesting one. So you know what? I'll take it on the second summon. I won't be complaining about that. He's new, so why not? He's new, so why not? I don't necessarily think that I was uh, going to need him, but hey, who can complain about summoning a legendary on the second Heliolite dice? Come on, Fainja, Theoderem, come home. Come home. Okay, we got the first epic. We got the first epic. We do have four new rares as well, guys. Okay, we got we got the uh, Gregrir, so he's gonna be corrosion. I'm not gonna read all of their kids, guys, unless they're legendaries, because I already reviewed all the heroes in a different video. So if you're curious to see that, uh, you're gonna be able to find it on uh, on my channel. Then we have Edgar. Uh, and one thing that I wanted to mention: tomorrow, 2 p.m. UTC, I will be streaming live Dragonair Silent Gods on my Twitch TV and on the Dragonair Silent Gods official YouTube channel. So stay tuned for it. You're probably gonna see it on YouTube. Make sure you guys tune in. We have a giveaway. We have uh, tons of uh, tons of awesome things happening. So make sure you tune in. Three epics. Okay, we got Gang uh, Gagne, another corrosion epic hero. Awesome. We got him again as a dupe. And who's the? Oh, and we got Dargo. So we got so far all the corrosion epics. Awesome, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Darga is actually really, really good. Come on. Now we're just missing Rook and my uh, and my couple. Rook and my couple. This is the tax right here. Zaidi, Kaledo, Dench, Grover, and we got Sabrina, which is a new corrosion. My god, we're getting all of the corrosion heroes, man. We're, I, I bet the legendary will be corrosion too. Whenever it uh, uh, whenever it's gonna drop. Next. Next one seems like we're gonna go to Mercy with that. So we got Narzila, she's an aura aura epic, pretty decent. Aura heroes, they don't seem to be very strong at the moment, or uh, or maybe we are uh, doing something wrong with them, you know. Okay, yeah. The, okay, we we got her, uh, Theo Hain. She's actually the best epic damage dealer from the aura types of damage dealers. So, uh, okay, okay, okay. Come on, this this is taking us to mercy, right? This is taking us to mercy. Ooh, two epics and a legendary. Please be on. Okay, we got Garrett. We got Garrett. She's a new one too. Uh, Tattered, the shadow. Please, please be one of the ones that I really, really want. Sigrid. Okay, she's a legendary in disguise. Oh, we got Aspalta. She's actually one of the the better choices for uh, for the shadow, just because she has this skill that uh, uh, gains additional two hundred uh, shadow energy and instantly jumps into her. Uh, Ultimate with that. Ignores defense. Okay, she's not bad. She's definitely not bad. Not a, not a bad pulling here. 
what is my couple, man? Like, that's what I want the most. Please. Please. Give me the couple. <laughs> Give me Fenja. Like, I really need uh, a frost, uh, an ice healer, you know? Like, I need it badly. I need that badly. The best healer that I have for that is uh, Voresh. Because there are not many. There are not many available, you know? Okay, we got the Cheater, another Shadow uh, shadow Hero. He's actually gaining ultimate energy whenever the enemies die, you know? I mean, ultimate energy, shadow energy. I gotta get used to it. Loris. Okay. We definitely have for two more legendaries in here. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we're gonna have slightly better luck, you know, and get more. Sabrina, Vesca, another carrot. So we're getting a lot of dupes uh, from the epics. That's good because we're getting a lot of Essence of Creation. And uh, I do need to purchase two new Epic Artifacts that were added in Season 3. So uh, I'm going to be able to get that organized as well. Come, uh, I was going to say, come on, give me that Legendary. Exandra to start with. Penja, where are you, baby? Come on, home. Come on, home. Okay, two Epics. No, no Legendary here. Megan. It seems like we're really... Uh, really being pushed to to the limit here 55 more to go hopefully we're gonna get at least uh at least one of them in here because then i can at least aim at a aim at a banner you know okay we got we got him again i feel like epic wise i think we're just missing uh one okay please please be the one Oh, ho, ho, we got Ozel. So he is an exclusive for the Shadow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I cannot complain about pulling an exclusive. 100% not. He's actually super solid. He transforms into a demon and uh, he deals a lot of damage. Like out of the Shadow, nothing was coming close to his own damage, which was pretty damn crazy seeing it in, uh, in action, you know? So I'm, I'm happy with that one. 45 more. Can we get some more? I think I can purchase 17 in to Oh, another legendary. Let's go, let's go. What do we have in here? Please, Fenja. Please. Oh, we got Daphne. So the shadow loves me. I collected all the three shadow legendaries by the looks of it. She's actually possessing another, another ally. I'm not a big fan of her, honestly. Maybe I'm, I'm misunderstanding her a bit for the moment, but... You're just basically possessing an enemy, dealing some damage, and that, uh, not an enemy, an ally, sorry. And that ally basically gains uh, some of her attack, and some of the damage will be converted into the HP. Uh, basically, I don't feel like the damage is going to be that crazy out of, uh, out of here, you know. That's why I'm, I'm not such a, such a big fan of, of, uh, of that hero. Double legendary, my god, this is our, this is our... Lucky, lucky day. This is, this is the third time when I'm summoning double legendary. But please, Fenja, be in there. So we got Linkos. He's an aura one. How I mentioned, I'm not a big fan of the aura one. So I'm not uh, too excited to go and summon them. But I really want that couple. Oh, and we got the exclusive for the aura too. We got double exclusive. This is payback from season one, uh, from season two, guys, where we summoned no... Uh, no exclusive whatsoever in the in the season uh, season two banner. Now seems like we're making up for it. The thing with the aura heroes, guys, they're dealing damage based on enemy max HP or the more attack they have. The thing is, it just doesn't seem to be effective enough against any of the bosses uh, in the game at the moment to really really bring up some value versus the old damage types of heroes or anything like that. You know, so. I think they will need a bit of a, a bit of an adjustment or something. 35 more to go. Come on. Give me more doubles like this. I'll take them. Bring them all. Bring them all. Oh, we got another one. Three legendaries like back to back in the pools. I'm loving it. But please. Oh, yes. We got Theo Dammer. So now we're just missing his bride. We're, we're going to have to go all in for the bride, man. He is probably one of the best tanks in the game. Especially if you have bo uh, both of the, the heroes together. So he's going to gain this invincibility debuff block. He's going to uh, get to stay alive, okay? And gain 100% ultimate energy when he is uh, on the same team with uh, the bride, right? And then he can just instantly taunt the enemy, 
gain defense up and damage reduction. What I like about him is that he can taunt the entire map. It doesn't matter where they are in arena. He's going to taunt them. And this is absolutely massive. I'm, I'm super, super glad that we got him. Man, we are on fire today. We are on fire. I can say this is the best luck I've ever had in Dragon Air Silent Gods on any of my summonings before because I never managed to open 15 and get four legendaries. That was just nuts. And we started like insane with one, uh, the first legendary in the second summon, right? Which was just crazy. We got a Nording here, a bunch of rares. That's fine. Tax. Who cares about that? Who cares about that? Considering all the luck that we just had before. Double epics. So we're still missing uh, Vorash's brother, right? Vorash's twin. And uh, I think we collected all the rest of the epics. Come on, Fenja. Ooh. We're, we're getting close. I still haven't got Rook or any, or any poison, uh, poison legendaries from this season. Any of the corrosion one, you know? We got the epics, but none of the, the legendaries. Come on. Come on, Fenja. You're the, you're the only one missing. You are the only one missing. Five more summons and we're going to go straight to the seasonal, uh, seasonal shop and buy everything that we can from there. Because this, this took us to the mercy. So we opened 30 with no legendary, if I'm not mistaken. Which we cannot complain anyway because we had some insane, insane luck. So right here, season shop. I haven't purchased anything yet, guys. But this is what you can get from here. It seems like the rewards that were expected in this season, like uh, these things that will allow you to inspire uh, U tier and uh, season one um, artifacts, are actually not added to the season two shop. Seems like they are added to season three instead. So I'm not sure uh, why they've done that. Or maybe we missed the whole point from the beginning. So I can purchase 15 Helialite dice from here. And I can purchase. Uh, 500 wire marrow from there. Then I can get the scholar uh, scrolls. Let me get them all so I don't have to come back to this. Let me get this. So what I'll be doing, guys, you see all this uh, pure sand core, I'll be saving the rest. So I'm going to get I'm going to get all the cosmetics because why not? I will not buy gold. I will not buy any of the purple summons. My 2000 sand core will be saved up for the next season. Because I want to purchase uh, inspirations for art rat and stuff like that, you know. So hell yeah, I'll be I'll be chilling with that and saving it all. So let's head back to the summons, please. Fenja, Fenja or Rook, please make an appearance. Fifteen more summons. Actually, we can make seventeen if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Seventeen summons, guys. Let's bring that Fenja home, please. Who do we have? Oh, we, oh, there we go. We got Voresh's brother. So we collected all the epic. Oh, yes, baby. Let's go. We got Fenja and we got him. We got the couple. That's what we wanted to see. I don't really care about the rest. Yes, I would love to get Rook because he's absolutely insane uh, for the Vortex. Uh, he's going to be amazing for uh, the world boss, the Chaos Shadow bosses in general. But I managed to accomplish my goal, guys. These two were my most wanted legendaries. She's an absolutely insane support hero. Tons of healing. Super powerful for Arena. Both of them and together they are insane, okay? And I'm super, super happy that, <laughs> my god, she just dropped at the end. And I'll take that as a win. Now, would I love to get a Rook? Sure. I have 12 more summons. Is Rook going to appear in here? Sure, why not? Bring your own Rook. I'm here waiting for you. This is kind of like trying to, to bait Rook, guys, you know? I mean, he almost looks like Rook. He, he could be his cousin or something, you know? He could be his cousin. Let's go. Let's go. Seven more summons. Seven more summons. Do we get another legendary out of what we have left? We got quite a few. I have no idea how many. And what I like so far, I haven't summoned a single dupe. And that is amazing because I don't want any more dupes. I have... a. Uh, I have most of the legendary artifacts that I want to get. Okay, I could get some of the new ones, don't get me wrong. But I'm not, I'm not uh, necessarily crazy after any of them 
unless they are the exclusive ones. But I need to summon dupes of the exclusive even to dream about them, you know. And um, how you may notice, this is just not happening right now. But I consider this an absolutely insane session, guys. Like how I mentioned, the best luck I've ever had in summoning session in Dragon Air Silent Gods. Now, let's see if I can actually try to sort them based on uh, based on when we got them. We cannot, right? I thought that we had some sort of an option to select them like that. Okay, so we cannot, okay. I kind of like wanted to check what uh, what we got from here, but I can't really remember now, you know. So we got Victor, he was the very first one, he's new. Uh, then we got my new couple, Theo Dammer, and we got Fenja, which is insane. Uh, we got Aspalta, we got uh, Ozul, which is the exclusive for the uh, Shadow, we got Daphne, uh, we got Linkus, and we got... Uh, I am on Leda, which is the exclusive for the aura. So that's what we got in terms of legendaries. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legendaries out of 130. That's actually very good rates. I'm very, very satisfied with that. And uh, yeah, how I mentioned, I wish you all guys better luck than I had. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Much love, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.